Is it okay to charge consultancy fees to help other expats? Um, this, this has come up this week actually. Uh, the, a lot of this stuff is very, very simple. Um, the, the main reason people don't understand, etc., is because they're from a different culture. So I can sort of see it from both sides. Because the first thing is, I know myself, I've had a lot of people ask me some very basic stuff before. Um, and I've got no answer problem with answering it, because I know a lot of the time people just simply don't know. But should you charge a fee for it? It depends how much time people are taking off you. Um, I wouldn't advise anybody to uh, sell how to do a business or how to um, build a house or something if they've got no knowledge of it. Um, but for somebody that needs, I'd say hire somebody for the first two weeks of arriving in the Philippines, if they're more comfortable doing that and they, they see it as value, I can't really see a problem with it. Um, now I know some of these guys that are doing it are still fairly new themselves or um, doing this more of a business opportunity. Myself, I, can, I don't think I've ever charged for anything. But at the same time, I know other people will do it for sort of people's visas and other things out. So I can see it from both sides. And I know sometimes you think, what, well, you're charging for that. But at the same time, if somebody asks you the same question that over and over again, um, then I could, un I could justify it. Because if they're taking your time up and long pieces of your time. For example, if someone says, can you give me a Skype conversation for an hour uh, discussing about life in the Philippines and I've got all these questions, then I myself might even charge for that because uh, I don't generally do Skype conversations um, except for business, which is completely different. I'm talking about real business, not the expat stuff. The other side of that being is that some very small bits of information are important to individuals. For example, somebody might say, how do I send a letter in the Philippines? Because I need to do this. How do I get my pension? How do I set a bank account up? How do I do this, that, and the other? Having a consultancy on that, I have no issue with if the person actually knows what they're talking about. Because one of the things I do say to people, if I don't know, I'll find out. Because I've had it with somebody asking about where to buy steel for example in the Philippines where can I buy copper pipe um, they're talking about for export so I'll say well I'll ask around for you I mean I'm not going to go out my way to go and find out stuff that they should do themselves but if I know somebody on the ports that say well go and speak to Joe Bloggs I'll go go and speak to Joe Bloggs because at the end of the day that is not for me to sort out for them um, from my point of view that's a bit of laziness on their side um, but also a couple of weeks back somebody asked me could I help them with a call centre in the Philippines well myself I don't mind doing that because I've got a lot of experience on it um, they already have a couple of other call centres on the globe so I was like, yeah, I'll have. So they would end up with a three way conversation because he's got other business partners. Because they were doing, although they're um, one company, they're all individual businesses, if you know what I mean. It's one call center, but there's like three or four companies running by, owned by different people, but they just group the call center because the same processes work for all the businesses. So that, I gave them a bit of information. Uh, did I charge for it? The answer is no. Did I give them a good contact for the Philippines for it? The answer is yes. Um, Carlos, one of the guys that I work with in the Philippines relating to call centers, it's worth his weight in gold. Now, if Carlos gets something out of that, I'm all for it because at the end of the day, Carlos does it for a job. Myself, as long as people aren't asking me to uh, sort them out with trivial stuff, then I don't mind. I don't mind helping people because, like, 
my payment on that is actually Carlos actually doing well for himself. You know, I'm quite happy to help him progress himself. He's a really good guy on the call set and stuff. But at the same time, if somebody says, Matt, I need to do this, Matt, I need to do that, I don't know how to do this, I don't and you go, Look, there's the link, go and have a look and then they come back, I still don't know how to do it then I may even consider charging for it. <laughs> Uh, because they're wasting my time. I'll be honest with you, I am I probably wouldn't charge, I just wouldn't do it. I'll just say, look, there's a link, if you can't understand it, um, get somebody to help you with it, because the information is there. It's very simple. And that's why I say, on a consultancy basis, some of this stuff seems very, very trivial that people um, are helping people with. But at the same time, I seen people do exactly the same where you wonder how they got through life. You know, that's why you know, I did a video about there's no microwave meals. Because I've had people go to the Philippines and they're going what do I do now? Because <laughs> they don't cook. Um, so something like that it's there's an expectation that some of this stuff exists when it doesn't. And that's why I would say if somebody's charging what $35 for an hour or whatever so what you know if somebody gets some use out of it fair enough personally I wouldn't pay it but then again I'm not the sort of person that would struggle with the stuff that some of other people do um, but you've also got to bear in mind a lot of the people have never been outside of their state or whatever never mind to another country so the, the whole culture thing and everything's completely different so, yeah, I can see it from both sides. I know it's frustrating sometimes because you, you're thinking, why are you charging for that? You know, it seems like you're almost ripping these guys off. But at the same time, people are wasting other people's time. Um, okay, they get some value out of helping somebody, but then the next guy comes in asking the same <laughs> questions. Um, so, yeah, I could actually understand it because um, some people don't want you to help them they want you to do it for them they want spoon fed um, and that's why I would say okay fair enough I want, if somebody wants to charge for it and somebody wants to pay for it fine because a lot of the time it's people's laziness in the first place which creates these opportunities alright thanks for watching